Big Sandy Lake is going to feel like Big Windy Lake for the governor's fishing opener beginning Saturday. With temperatures hanging around 40 degrees throughout the weekend and winds up to 20 miles an hour, fishing experts are expecting the weather to play into the amount of fish hooked. Our Chelsea Brown has more. There's going to be fish caught. It's just too bad that, you know, you've got the cooler than normal temperatures and the wicked wind. So, but I think that's God's way of saying, you know what? We don't want all the fish caught this weekend. It's known as the busiest fishing weekend of the year. In the state of 10,000 lakes, the Minnesota governor's fishing opener is a big deal. Not only for the town hosting the event, but to the surrounding lakes country. For a lot of families, it's just as big as Christmas or Thanksgiving. It, it's like a state holiday. And uh, people uh, travel all over the state to get up to their fishing cabins and spend time with their families. And, and we benefit greatly from that. Due to the recent drop in temperatures this week and howling winds present today, experts believe these conditions will affect anglers on the water. But anytime you get a cold front that comes in, you know, just before you're going to go fishing, which everybody's going to do starting at midnight tonight, um, that's not a good thing. Even with the early ice cap this year with this cold front, fishing experts expect conditions to be tough, but they recommend slowing things down and downsizing in bait. I'm thinking, you know, a live bait rig with a spot tail shiner, either mouth hooked or tail hooked, kind of depending on, you know, what we're seeing and just working them really slow. The cooler tents could also influence how long anglers want to stay out. That might not be ideal for eight hours of fishing, but it is ideal for getting people into town and into the uh, restaurants and some of the other attractions that we have, because once you get cold, you want to warm up. What it's going to do is it's going to push a lot of fishermen and women into uh, Rafferty's Pizza in Niswa, Zorba's down here, and Bar Harbor, and restaurants are going to be booming. Um, town of Niswa is going to be happening. The fishing industry is responsible for providing 43,000 jobs statewide. Specifically in the Brainerd Lakes region, the industry is a huge contributor to the area tourism. You're going to find it right here with the Gull Lake chain, Pelican Lake, the Whitefish chain. These are all pristine waters and uh, it's really a fishing mecca. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. The Minnesota DNR expects around 500,000 anglers to flock to the water on opening day of the walleye and northern pike season. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.